Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Welcome to this glorious Friday. Happy weekend. Uh, I hope you have a great one. Until then, we've got to do a little bit of recapping of what happened earlier this week. So this was an interesting week. As you can see here on this chart right here, the S&P 500 was up uh, pretty good. In fact, it was one of the biggest up day weeks that we've seen in quite a long time. And it was off just a little bit from the all-time high made yesterday. That was made, of course, by the result of the Federal Reserve announcement on Wednesday, where the announcement itself was nothing shocking, did not change interest rates. But in Powell's speech, he said that the Fed still expects from the dot plot that there will be three rate cuts this year still. And we'll see if that ends up happening, but that's what they said, and that's why the market rallied. Now, going into next week, we've got some important things as well. The most important thing is we have PCE, which coming out next week, which is the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, and that's gonna be a big deal. If inflation is hot, that could weigh on the market, and if it's come off, then that could send us even higher. Another important thing about next week is it's a short one. We have the Good Friday holiday next week. So the market's closed on Thursday. That's important for option traders because that's one day of theta that comes out even earlier. So by Thursday afternoon, we could see four days already taken out of theta trading on Monday's days. So this next week is going to be a good week to sell options early in the week on Monday because theta is going to speed up. That also weighs a bit on buying options. Uh, on top of that, we see that the implied volatility has fallen, or the historical volatility has fallen greatly in SPY and many other names. So that makes implied volatility overpriced. So it becomes a really good potential time to be selling options. One other thing I want to talk about is since we've moved over to social media, particularly YouTube, which is where many of you are going to watch it. If you watch it on our blog, that's through YouTube. If you would do me a quick favor and do yourself a quick favor to make sure that you never miss any of these helpful tips and tricks and information sessions that I give you every day, go on over to YouTube, log into your account, and here's what I need you to do. Just search for Market Taker Mentoring and go to our channel and then subscribe. As you can see, I'm already subscribed to our channel. And then when you do that, click back on this little downward chevron here and click on all. When you click on all, see it says you'll get all notifications from the channel. And then what you do is you go up to the picture of yourself or whatever you have in this circle right here, click on that uh, and go to settings go to notifications and make sure that this top one right here subscriptions under your preferences make sure that that is toggled on so it's blue and it's to the right that says notify me about activity from channels i'm subscribed to so once you subscribe to market taker and make sure you click all on the little bell and you make sure that you're getting this under your preferences then that is going to ensure that every time we put out some useful information to you, you are made aware of it by YouTube. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli. Have yourself a fabulous weekend. And next week, trade smart. See you then. Bye.